it looks like I'm literally beating my face with a sponge like <laughs> Welcome back to Makeup Obsession. I'm gonna take you guys step by step on how to achieve a bronzy, glowy summer makeup routine. Before we get started, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel for more makeup videos, tutorials, and a lot more. So I want this skin to look really nice and dewy, so I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Jelly Pop. Jelly Pop. <laughs> Do primer and just one pump of that and I'll apply that all over my face with a brush I'm gonna use my Il Maquillage woke up like this foundation for my base so I'm just applying this all over the face with a beauty blender I love this already look at that so for concealer, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Light Beige just to cover any like dark spots that I have. I've been really breaking out on some spots because I think it's that time of the month again. And I'm just like spot concealing the areas that I feel like need a little bit more coverage. And then also underneath the eyes, I'm going to put just a little bit right here because I really like the color of this concealer. It's super corrective. I do have bags underneath my eyes because it's really hard to sleep these days, you know. Let me guys know in the comments below if you guys are sleeping at the right time because I'm definitely not. Oh. <laughs> so I will be layering another concealer just on top. Just laying another concealer right here because this one is brighter. It's more pink toned and I like mixing them together. Just tap that with my beauty blender like this. I'll start underneath the eyes because the rest of the concealer on my dark spots I'm just gonna let them sit there for a little bit because when you let a product sit a little longer it's gonna be creamier and the pigmentation is much more strong there. it looks like we slept <laughs> so to snatch our cheekbones we're gonna use this light tan tour by huda beauty love this cream contour product and this is gonna give a nice like like chiseling action right here on the cheeks so we're gonna use like a synthetic brush and i'm already gonna place this product right here so i like applying this right above like my ear because I feel like this one lifts my face some more like you can already tell like, it, this cheek looks lifted already lifted <laughs> so I'm just applying it right here on the forehead and I like taking it up to here. and then for the jawline I really don't have a jaw <laughs> it's like flat flabby <laughs> but we're gonna contour that so that we can put her away for a little bit and we will we will keep her there so <laughs> we will not take her to our like summer festivities and stuff for a little bit I'm gonna blend everything with a beauty blender just so there are no harsh lines powder time I'm gonna bake today underneath my eyes because I really want to emphasize 
all this brightness that we did earlier so i'm just gonna pack that powder on underneath my eyes this is the elf halo glow and as per usual all of the products that i use in this video is gonna be in the description box as well as my affiliate links i also like baking right here because i tend to have like some lines there and when you bake there it smoothens them out really nicely i don't want to over powder the rest of my face because i still want to keep that glow that we did earlier i did the other eye off camera so that i can map out all the colors for you guys before i start with the tutorial so let's get started i already prepped my eyes by the way with the concealer that i used earlier underneath my eyes so for this eye look, I use the You Can Be Changeable Fantasy Volume 2. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's really pretty. It has a lot of warm tones, neutral tones, and some pops of color. And also, you guys can use my discount code Makeup Obsession for 15% off all You Can Be products. I will link the product down below for you guys so you can check it out. So for the first color, I will be using this shade right here with a fluffy brush. This is a nice warm brown. I really love the texture of You Can Be Eyeshadows. They're super pigmented and smooth. And this is one of their newest palettes that they came out with. So I'm going to apply that right here, just on the socket of my eye. And this is really going to bring some warmth to the eye makeup. And I'm just diffusing that with my fluffy brush. In the same brush, I will dip into the next shade that is right beside it, which is like a warm, kind of like a salmon peach kind of color and i will apply this one on the inner corner of the eye because i like the way that it looks that it really gives a nice soft warmth in the inner corner because later on we're gonna put like a rose gold shade right there and it's gonna really pull them together and then once I'm done with that, I will move on with a smaller brush, a little bit more pointed. And I will use that first shade and focus it right here in the crease of my eye. And what is really special about these eyeshadows is that you can control the opacity of the shadow depending on the brush you use. So I was able to use this eyeshadow as a transition shade and I was able to use it as a deepening shade in the crease. So it's really versatile, you guys. And then as you notice on this other eye, I do have like kind of like a wing going on. So I use this dark brown eyeshadow right here. It's still a warm color, this brown eyeshadow. And what I'm gonna do is I will use a skinny blending brush and just apply this one right here on the outer corner i'll be applying this one in like a winged out shape so that way it looks like it looks more catty it opens up and elongates the eye and i'm going to really focus on this area right here because i want those two colors to meet there and I'm keeping this closest to the lash line. So I'll also be applying I'll also be applying that brown shadow on the lower lash line so that it will really open up my eyes and smoke out the lower lash line. We will do a cut crease. I'm just gonna use a really flat brush and my Il Maquillage Concealer, I will just carve out the crease right here. Take your time with carving out your crease so that you will really get a nice crisp line. I recommend working with a little bit of product first so that it's not going to be too gunky in the eye area. 
here, right here on this area where the shadows meet. I'm gonna be applying a little bit of that transition shade that we were using right here in the middle of those two colors, the concealer and the eyeshadow. That way, there will be no harshness right here. And then I will grab that brown shade again and I will apply that right here on the lid area. I will reapply it because I am losing that color when I applied the transition shade there. So just to re-emphasize everything. And for the lid color, I will use this shade. This is really pretty. It's this shade right here. It's like a bronzy copper color. Just right here on the main lid. Using this color dry and it looks really beautiful. It The payoff of the color is just really nice. Look at that. And then on the inner corner, like I said earlier, I want to do like a rose gold. So I'm going to grab this color right here, which is right below the bronzy shade. And I will use a smaller packing brush so that I can apply that right here in the inner corner. Just tight to my, tight to my inner corner right here. Time for the fun part, glitter! <laughs> So we're gonna use the prof we're gonna use the Profusion Sparkling Eye Topper, and this is in the shade called Glitz. And I'm going to just apply that array here on, like near the eyeball, I guess, the center part of my eye. And I love the beautiful sparkle that it gives really pretty it gives like kind of like a wet effect like a nice glossy effect to the lids and it looks like the eyelids are glowing before i move to mascara and lashes i would like to use this pencil right here this is from profusion it's their copper pencil just on the inner portion of my eye i feel like this is really gonna give a nice bronzy glowy summer sparkle radiant look so, so eyes are done now it's time to blush and bronze and highlight and i'm really excited because this is one of my favorite parts for this makeup look so i'm going to be using the new bh cosmetics belgian waffle bronzer and highlight kit this is really really pretty but it's from their brunch collection and it looks like this it's super pretty i'm excited to use the highlight shades because they look really beautiful so let me get started by applying this shade called syrup all right so for my highlight i will be using the shade called syrup Yum. This is a really pretty. I'm so excited to see how it looks like. And just right here on the top of my cheek. By the way, BH Cosmetics is doing 25% off today. Just today only use the code FLASH FLASHY FLASH25. So use the code FLASH25 for 25% off BH Cosmetics. I will put my affiliate link down below so you guys can check out their sale. It's so pretty. It's so natural. Like, it almost looks like glass skin. And I like that. It's really fine and almost undetectable. Like, there's no glitter on the highlight. So this is really pretty. Look at that. Uh, yes. <laughs> really pretty and then we will do the bronzing so for bronzer i think i will be using the shade right here batter so 
I don't do this often, but I want to try to put a little bit of bronzer on my nose. I love that effect. It looks like sun-kissed. And it looks like we've been at the beach, even if we've just been at home. Next up is blush, and I'm gonna use this Peach Bellini Weekend Vibes palette, also from BH Cosmetics. And this one is filled with like really pretty peachy colors. I love it, and I'm so excited to try it. I think I'm gonna use this shade called Peach Pulis because it's so cute and I love a bright orange so I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill my everything complexion brush I love this one lately for blush like it applies the right amount of product to finish off the look time for lips we're gonna use this one it's called honey honey from my El Maquillage strip tease palette oh yeah I love this color it looks neutral but it has a hint of color and it looks really beautiful I love it so this look will not be complete without lip gloss. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. This is in the shade Champagne Glam. For just a little bit of juicy, juicy look. I'm really happy with how this look turned out. I hope you guys like it too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And before you leave my channel, I would love for you to subscribe for more makeup videos, tutorials, and a lot more. See you guys on the next one. Bye!